Hey, what's up? My name is Nigel and I got a really quick video for you. So a little while ago, I made this video. It was all talking about how I was still using a Panasonic GH3 in 2021. And it was kind of a part two video of a video that I did the year before. And after I made that video, I kind of thought to myself, I don't really want to make another one of those videos. I don't want to be here in 2022 talking about how I'm still using the Panasonic GH3. I think that overall I've proven my point and I kind of did what I set out to do with the GH3, which was to build up my YouTube channel and show that you could do it even if you didn't have the latest and greatest camera. So what I wanted to do in this video is really quickly update you on the new camera that I bought. Well, new to me. Now, as you know, I do have the Panasonic S5 and this camera was gifted to me for doing that campaign late last year. And even though I do love the S5, I'm just not quite ready to pull the trigger on buying a bunch of L-mount lenses. And I just really do like the Micro Four Third system still. I still feel like this form factor is just a little bit more suited to my filming style. So what I thought I'd do is read off some specs from this camera that I bought and see if you can guess which one I went with. So this camera shoots in DCI 4K. Now that is 4096 by 2160. It has a log picture profile. It can do 10 bit recording. It has variable frame rates that surpasses 60 frames per second in 1080p. It has shutter angle control. It has great battery life and really efficient codecs. Last but not least, it cost me under $500. So which camera did I go with? Leave your guesses in the comment section below. So without any further ado, this is the camera that I went with. The Panasonic GH3, there, Panasonic GH4. <laughs> so this might be a little bit of a controversial pick. There are so many really good cameras out there, but one of my criterias was I did not wanna have to spend more than $500 on a camera body. And it's actually really hard to find all the specs that the GH4 has for under $500. This GH4 cost me $475 and it had the V-Log upgrade along with it, which is awesome. And yeah, this shoots in, again, DCI 4K. It can do 10-bit, but it has to be external in an external recorder. But yeah, 422 10-bit from a camera from 2014, that's pretty sweet. It has shutter angle control. It's got variable frame rates, so it can go up to 96 frames per second in 1080p. It's got focus peaking, which is one of the biggest things that I absolutely love because my GH3 didn't have that. And one of the nicest things is that this GH4 is the exact same body size as the GH3. So all of my accessories, the cages, the eyepiece, the batteries, everything for my GH3 works on my GH4. So that was kind of a big determining factor for me as well. So I've gotten some comments on like, well, Nigel, why don't you just sell all your Micro Four Thirds stuff and just commit completely to the S5 system since you already own the S5. I understand that argument, but again, I try to go over low budget filming techniques and I feel like the S5 is still a little bit pricey for a lot of low budget filmmakers, whereas, you know, 475 bucks for a GH4 is a lot more accessible. And again, because the L mount is still relatively new, there just aren't that much lenses that are available for the S5. I see a lot of third party manual lenses, but those don't really lend themselves that well to making YouTube videos where I have to like film myself or when I just need to do some quick, you know, half press to focus type shots. And again, I love the ability to shoot on small little lenses like these. That's one of the nicest things about the Micro Four Thirds system is that if you have to travel or something like that, these lenses, weigh nothing and they don't take up a lot of space in your camera bag. Anyways, I just wanted to make this video really quickly just updating you on the camera that I'll be shooting with from now on. Obviously, I'll still be using the S5 every once in a while, but for the most part, the majority of my videos will now be filmed on the Panasonic GH4, which although, yes, it is a very incremental upgrade from my GH3, it still is an upgrade. Anyways, thank you so much for stopping by. If you like 4K, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you'd like to check out more of my videos, you can click on either side of my face. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you all next time. Later.